It's Chelsea the Messenger with picks and parlays. The NBA playoffs are rolling on, and we had some exciting matchups to start. This one we're talking today in our free play is the Bucks Magic game. The Bucks are big favorites again in this one, minus 12. The total is 226. The series is actually tied at one with the Magic right. pulling that huge upset in game one. But you know what? The the beasts of the East, the Bucks return to form uh, in game two, winning one, that one. 111 to 96. So, Chip, uh, what do you think on this one? Bucks or Magic, or are you leaning on the total? Well, I'll, pl I'll play aside as I usually do. Uh, Milwaukee's 12 here. Uh, they got their wake up call the first game. Fortunately for me, I haven't fared all that well in the NBA um, until the playoffs started here. Um, I've had both winners and both matchups they've had. And I like Milwaukee once again. They, they came alive after that 122-110 defeat opening game. And um, they're 3-1-1 one one at Orlando against the points. As playoff favorites, the Bucks are 10-4. and four. Although, Chelsea, they haven't been playing well as, as late. We know that when they went to Orlando with this restart to the NBA, they've only covered four of their last 13 outright and against the points that is and of course orlando's done just the opposite uh, they've gone 13 and 6 against the points overall they're seven and three as an underdog so you might gravitate toward them but i actually believe that this buck team has come alive i think that loss they took in game one will be the difference and when their coach clifford actually made a statement you asked me earlier if aaron gordon was going to be healthy enough to play and he's doubtful right now and the coach actually admits without him to guard um the greek freak he goes we're not going to win anything so I don't think they're going to win anything. Um, I'm going to take Milwaukee here. I think they're waking up and they're going to play strong the whole game. And I look for a great game out of Middleton, who only scored two points last time out. So um, I'm looking for Milwaukee here. The total is at 226. It may well go over as well, though these teams have played. They played over 25-1 and one in the last 26 games for Orlando. Um, that was not against Milwaukee. That's them individually. So um, there's another route to go. There's more than one way to skin a cat here. But I would lay the points because I don't think Milwaukee is taking any prisoners from here on out. Oh, no, the poor cat. Uh, <laughs> I think you're you're absolutely right. When it comes to betting these NBA games, especially inside the bubble, it's been a bit of a conundrum for uh, some of these teams. I think the favorites are starting to uh, eke out wins more than they were, you know, in the, the first right. games, in some of the first games in the bubble. The cream eventually rises to the top. But what I'm looking at here is a player prop. Uh, Nikola Vasevic. Hopefully I'm saying that with the right accent. Uh, he scored 32 last game and 35 in the first game. If Aaron Gordon is not playing again, I think Vesevic uh, is going to score a lot again. Uh, a lot of people don't know about him just because he plays for the Magic and a lot of people don't really watch him. But my play is that he's going to score at least 22 and a half points. And you get a nice little price on that at minus 110. And that way you can kind of avoid playing aside if you're nervous like I am betting some of these NBA games. I think he does score a lot in this one. And I looked at some of the player props. I did think that Chris Middleton's going to score more than he has been. But I just didn't like go. the prices on on some of uh, those plays. So once again, you can really like something, but if you don't get a good price on it, it's not worth playing. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, like I said, you mentioned, I think Milwaukee who had the best record coming in. They knew they were going to have the best record in the East. And they had been sort of sleepwalking through the first couple of games and the restart. The first playoff game, we're aware they got pounded. I, I think they've come to play here. And I'll tell you, right. um, you're probably right. With Aaron Gordon not being available there, um, the points are going to be hard to come by for anybody else. Right. All right. Well, that's going to wrap it for Bucks Magic Talk here on Picks and Parlays. Always thanks for the insight, Chip Trimus.